breaking news and what will probably turn out to be the most unsurprising story of the year, that the Israeli regime has admitted to killing Aishinor, the American activist, that was shot in the head by an Israeli sniper in the occupied West Bank. Now, I know that this headline says that Biden was outraged. Was he, though? First of all, he's already being called out because he's going out of his way to run cover for them. Because, of course, he is. Biden is a dog on a leash to Netanyahu. Honestly, though, has there ever been a president that has been more of a fucking cuck to the Israeli regime? than Biden. He went out of his way to lie for them and add something to their statement that they themselves didn't even say. Biden told reporters on Tuesday that it was likely that her death was an apparent accident because a bullet ricocheted off the ground. The investigation didn't even say that. The IOF didn't even say that in their statement. Okay, so let's go to their statement and his statement. So here's the results of the supposed investigation that the IOF, of course, did into themselves in a very short period period of time, admitting that they did do it, but it was an accident, you see? This is the same copy and paste shit they did after they killed Shireen Abu Akleh. After initially denying it, of course, and claiming it was Islamic Jihad. Also, this is the biggest lie that they tell here. The inquiry found that it was likely that she was hit indirectly and unintentionally by the IOF fire, which was not aimed at her, but aimed at the key instigator of the riot. Bitch, what riot? There was no riot. They literally, I showed you guys this in the video that I did talking about her death. The video of them right before she was killed, they're just standing near a tree. There was no riot. They were not throwing anything. They were not throwing rocks. There was not even an IOF soldier standing right in front of them. They were literally just peacefully standing in front of a tree. There were also multiple eyewitnesses from the group that she was with that were there that said that nothing was going on, that there wasn't even a confrontation. So this whole riot thing, they just made up. Also, side note, even if that were true, let's just pretend for a second that this wasn't a ridiculous big fat lie and that there was an instigator that threw a rock. That still doesn't make it okay. You think that just because somebody throws a little pebble at your armored vehicle that that means that you get to extrajudicially kill them? Like think about the admission implicit here. Like even if they had thrown a rock, they're like, well boys, they threw a rock. I guess it's okay that we execute them. That's what they consider a threat? Think about that, what they consider a threat the next time they kill someone in the occupied West Bank. Think about that next time they wipe out generations of Palestinian families because they say Hamas was there. Okay, we express our condolences. Shut the fuck up. This way, condolences for what? You did exactly what you wanted to do. And then you got Biden's bullshit statement, which again, looks like it was just sent over from the Israeli regime's PR team. Her family, of course, is not buying this, as they shouldn't, and they're calling for an independent investigation into the matter because, of course, the United States is just taking the IOF's word for it, which Fucking lol. Kamala Harris also put out a bullshit statement being like, this is unacceptable and raises legitimate questions about the, what are you talking about raises legitimate questions? We know that they do this to Palestinians in the occupied West Bank every single day. The only reason why you're pretending to care right now is because it was an American and even then you guys don't actually give a fuck. She ends her statement with the exact same way Biden ends his statement. The United States will continue to hold accountable anybody, what? Excuse me? Here's Biden again. There must be full accountability. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I know that the Israeli regime right now is paying our Congress to get past that stop anti-Semitism bill that'll be a full assault on all of our free speech so we won't be able to criticize the Israeli regime anymore and we won't be able to criticize Biden anymore or Kamala Harris or anybody in power. But as of right now, we still have free speech in this country. So shut the fuck up, dot gov. Because that is a fucking lie. Hold them accountable. Continue to hold them accountable. To continue to do something would imply that you were doing it and you're not doing it. You know what's gonna happen? The consequence, the accountability we're gonna see from this? We're gonna reward them with more weapons. Aisha Noor paid for her own murder because her tax dollars in America went to go pay for their weapons. The same weapons that killed her. And the accountability is gonna be more weapons, more bombs, more ammunition. When they say we're holding them accountable, they're not doing shit. The only thing that our government is doing is giving them more of our money. This was the bullshit statement from Antony Blinken, our trash ass slithering snake of a secretary of state when he was asked about her murder. In regard to the tragic killing of Eisenhower, um, I think what we saw this uh, investigation 
is it seems to show what eyewitnesses have said and made clear that her killing was both unprovoked and unjustified. Uh, no one, no one should be shot and killed for attending a protest. In our judgment, Israeli security forces need to make some fundamental changes in oh. the way that they operate in the West Bank, including changes to their rules of engagement. Oh. What are people going to tire of having their intelligence insulted? There needs to be some serious changes. These motherfuckers have been saying that since the beginning of the genocide. How many times have we seen someone ask them, whether it be about this or any of the other war crimes or atrocities that the Israeli regime has committed in Gaza since this started, and their answer has been, we urge, we urge them to change the rules of engagement and review their practices to make sure they're following international law. We sent them a strongly worded letter. How's that going? How's that going? How's that strongly worded letter going? How is your urging going? You know, they're always urging, they're always calling on, but they never actually put any action behind their bullshit fake crocodile tear rhetoric. Anything they say, everybody should disregard because unless you are talking about actual action, sanctions on these motherfuckers, arms embargo, stopping the weapon shipment, then anything that they say is just hot fucking air. They don't mean any of it. It is just poorly, I might add, acted PR. For everybody to forget and move on while they run and go sign another check to the Israeli regime of your tax money. Cause you'll notice they never follow up with any action. And you'll notice that they never really follow up with any of their investigations. How's the investigation going into Hin Rajab, huh? Reports of excessive force by Israeli security forces against uh, Palestinians. Uh, occupational uh, And now forces. we have the second American citizen killed at the hands of Israeli security forces. It's not acceptable. Not just it has to change. Second. And we'll be making that clear to the senior most members of the Israeli government. Now, oh. we're looking carefully at the uh, results of this um, investigation, but even on an initial read and even ex accepting it at face value, uh, it's clear that there are serious issues that need to be dealt with. Second American citizen? Seriously? Did you forget about the attack on the World Central Kitchen that included an American citizen? Or the two boys who were murdered in the occupied West Bank that are also American citizens? It's been four that we know of in the last year. These people are such bad fucking liars, it would be laughable if it wasn't so enraging. They're not gonna do shit about this, just like they didn't do shit about any of the other ones. They're gonna talk about how they're gonna send strongly worded letters and really have some conversations with the occupational forces, and they're gonna pretend to investigate these things more and they're going to pretend to care and be very sad and they're not going to do any of that they're not going to do shit they're going to continue to let the israeli regime do whatever they want sending all of our money over there so that they can use our weapons to kill american citizens as well as palestinians in gaza and in the occupied west bank understand that if you're an american citizen and you get murdered by the israeli regime your government doesn't give a fuck and won't do anything the best you're gonna get is that punch full concern face from Antony Blinken.